Hey guys, Smitty here. Thanks for tuning in and welcome back. So we are back in Grounded and we are back in our Airship City. This is a build that I recently completed on Creative Mode. And I did a whole cinematic on this thing, but now I want to cover it a little more in detail. So today I'm going to go a little more in depth on just giving a full tour of what exactly we have going on here. So without further ado, grab a snack, grab a drink, and let's get right into it. So first of all, I just want to say thank you for all the, the po positive response and comments I, I got from this build in, in the last video I made. Um, you know, these, these builds, they take a lot of time. They're not easy. Particularly, this one was extremely <laughs> challenging just given the different elevations. But, um, you know, your guys' reactions and your guys' support really make uh, the whole process worth it. And So just thank you so much for, for supporting me and, uh, you know, all, all the positive feedback I've been getting. So the, the inspiration for this build really started from a discovery I had made initially that ended up being patched actually halfway through the build. So if you see some of these you know, hot air balloons that I have um, scattered throughout the map, these things are actually free floating. So they're not attached by anything, they're just actually completely up in the air and so what I had actually done is I had figured out a way to um, basically build up foundations and then trick like the the game code to essentially think that the foundations were supported in the midair after and then basically could delete anything underneath it and so through that I could put things anywhere in the air so I was able to get a couple couple hot air balloons up but with the new update that Obsidian launched, they basically patched that. And so midway through the build, um, I what my you know methodology for doing that basically kind of went out the window. And so I had to do a little bit more um, you know workarounds with actually attaching my ships to to the build itself. But that was truly the the inspiration that started it. And you know as soon as I figured I could make things float in the air, I my mind started going to a bit of a Airship City. Um, if you guys have seen my previous builds, I've definitely did a, you know, already done the, the ship idea, or the, the more traditional ships on the pond. And so naturally, I just, you know, moved it to the air. So I am building on, uh, I mean, the, the big rock that has the rake on it. So if I go over here, so here's the, that rake. Um, and I just, I, I figured this would be a really nice platform to, to build off of just because, you know, if I was going to make a city that was based, um, you know, s somewhat in the air with these airships, you know, it, it, was a, it was a good platform because it had a lot of elevation already built into it. I wouldn't have to, you know, start from the ground and then build up because that would just take a lot longer. Plus, I think it just made it look real interesting. Uh, it made it really challenging just because... You know, building on this rock didn't exactly always allow me to do the things I wanted to, just in terms of placements, especially with, you know, foundation pieces, things like that. It got a little tricky, so... And so what I wanted to do in, in creating this airship city, as you'll see, it's not it's not as gridded or as organized, you know, maybe as some of my, my other builds. And it does look just a little bit more wild and unruly, and I think that was that was kind of the point, right? So it's just it's it's layered, it loops around. And I thought that's just like a very interesting way to create a city that's really high up in the air, right? Just make things just make things fit in any way that I that I can. You know, I'll be the first to admit that maybe some of these buildings aren't quite as polished, maybe, as some of my other builds, just because I just had to, you know, finagle everything in here in the way that the way that I could and make it all fit together and make sense, but I and again I, I like the way that it turned out. I think it it's cool having everything elevated and just tucked away really close together. It feels really snug and cozy. Um, you know, I wanted also to have a mix of pathways, not just using the the grass planks, but also wanted to uh, use the pebble foundation as a path because I think. That just looks nice. It's a nice mix up. It's not as much green, but using the pebble foundation is also extremely tough right now just because it's a little bit janky. You know, you can't exactly place it everywhere that you, you think you would. Sometimes you're just blocked for, for no apparent reason. 
So like I said, this was, uh, you know, kind of like an airship city or like an airship port. Um, definitely toured around with some different airship designs. Um, and then it was really cool. I, I, I think that the, 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 how I tether them to the dock, I think that really works. I think it, it looks quite nice to, to sell the idea that, you know, they really are floating in the air. So in this case, really, the only thing that's anchoring this ship is this wing piece right here. So if I deleted that, the whole thing would, would implode. Um, but it's very similar to, you know, the ship designs that I made on the water. Um, you know, you make the hull, try to make some wings, but then just integrating some sort of design where you have, like, a balloon to feel like it makes sense as to, like, why it would float, you know? Um, you know, it's not exactly just magic or anything like that, but there's actually a real reason why this thing might be floating. And I think that, I think that helps in selling the idea of, you know, the build and, and the scene I'm trying to set. So these are all pretty similar designs, just smaller, smaller airships. Um, so actually, so these ones are actually floating as well. So I got these ones up before the, the patch hit. Uh, as you can see, it's not actually tethered to the dock, and I think this one isn't either. Okay, so I guess technically this one might be as well, but when I when I set it up here, as you can see, I have the foundation piece, and that was just floating. But, yeah, unfortunately, Obsidian did patch it. I guess it does make sense as to wh why they did, right? I mean, creatively, it kind of stinks because I was able to do something pretty cool with it and making stuff float, but I guess it doesn't really make sense to have the ability to create floating pieces like that. So again, these, these buildings aren't the most polished or, you know, complete homes, but they're still, they're still somewhat furnished and feel cozy. Um, I think my focus was really on just making stuff fit and making sure I could make the design work with all the, the different airships. Um, so yeah, some of the airships are actually, as you can see, so some are some are anchored by, you know, docks, things like that. But I also have these, like, marker towers. So I have some of the slime mold, um, which I leverage just to, you know, barely connect them there on the wing. But it looks like it's flying in, or I think it's flying out in this in this case. Um, but that also allows me to put whatever angle I want in, in, into these ships or what direction they're headed because they'll go based off of how the tower is facing. And I do have a couple of these towers um, surrounding, surrounding the rock. So if I go up to a good vantage point here, so I got there, one there, and then, you know, they're circling around. But I think it, it definitely does, it still works quite nicely because even though it is anchored by the tower there, you know, I mean, it just barely, right? It's just barely touching it. And for all intents and purposes, it still looks like that ship is floating and, and flying in, so I think it I think it still works. Um, so I obviously have a lot of different docks, you know, working from the bottom all the way up. I try to create, um, you know, an ascending leveling of everything to make things more interesting and not just flat, and I think that also lends itself to looking quite nice in the end here. Um, as you'll see, I'll, these buildings all build up here to this lighthouse, or that's at least what I intended for this thing. So this thing's completely made out of uh, pebblet and clay foundation. And it, it worked out pretty well, so I ended up making these little half spaces here because I thought that made a little more sense for the scale that we we're going for, for the windows. And so I just kept working my way up. As of now, I only have, I mean, this is how we, this is how we get up it. I'm kind of waiting for Obsidian to really put in like a uh, maybe like a ladder or something, um, so you can uh, climb things more vertically. Because the way the stairs work is, it's just hard to fit them in any place that might be pretty tight like this. But it works out. We can still get to the top. This is my lighthouse here, so um, you know, got plenty of lights here that you know, in the nighttime you can definitely see that this is a bright area. And definitely is the, the focal point of the, of the map, right? You really want to have a, a, a piece that's going to catch the eye. And so that's, that's where the, the idea of the lighthouse came in, right? Because 
if you have any kind of port, whether it be, you know, in the in the water or the air, gotta have a way that the the ships can see it, right? So if we work our way over to the back, this is where I experimented with some larger uh, larger designs of the airship. So again, we had another dock. So this this design out here obviously has the, you know the two two balloons, it's a little bit longer. Um, and then this one is just a little bit thicker. So we have a larger balloon. It's a little bit larger hull as well. We got, you know, a couple levels of wings here, but yeah, this balloon, um, you know, I'll probably do a tutorial on how to build some of these airships because there is some nuance to it that I discovered that you kind of need to know to, to build these things right or make it make it work with some of these roofing for the the hull and the balloon um, so yeah I'll probably cover that in a in a, in a video later on but it was really fun I, I gotta say this build was was really fun uh, just creating this world right I mean an airship city it's not really something that immediately comes to mind when you think about grounded right I mean even the name itself right I feel like we're supposed to stick stick to the to the to the floor stick to the ground but uh i think it's it's really cool when you can kind of create a world where things are really up in the air it was a really challenging build like i said <laughs> making everything fit and work together uh it was it was not easy and you know i was pulling my hair out on, on some areas that just would not work no matter how hard i tried um but i think in the end the result was was really nice and is really cool it's just to yeah to create something something new right I, I work really hard to try to create you know grounded builds that are really unique and uh, really creative right I, I, I really want to inspire more creativity within this game you know I'm a firm believer with these sandbox games I've mentioned this before they really only go as far as the the player base is really willing to take it so it's really up to us to push the limits, push our creativity, and show off this game and uh, inspire more people to play it. And that's what really will ultimately make it a success and keep the developers working hard on improving it. So, And so there you guys have it, the Airship City. Again, really challenging build, but had a lot of fun doing it. Um, thank you so much for watching, guys, and for all the support I've been getting. Again, it's it takes a lot of work putting together these builds, but the, the feedback and response I get from you guys is just incredible and really makes all the work worth it. If you guys are enjoying the videos, please make sure you like and subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one. Thanks.